Welcome everyone to this brand new episode of Meeting Half West, starring me, LS Mark, joined once again by Veronica. Hello. And we have a very special guest, one of the internet most legend. Important guests we've ever had on this podcast. <laughs> it's Sammy. Otherwise known Sammy, as Sammy Classic, Classic Sonic, Sonic, Sonic fan. fan. Hello everyone. It is it is indeed me, Sammy Classic Sonic fan. <laughs> also, special guest, Ginger the Dog. Oh yes, my my pet beagle. <laughs> the sweetest girl in the world. <laughs> As I was saying previously, I do feel like she belongs in the goof world. <laughs> the goofy world? <laughs> yeah, she's got goof head. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> she has the goof head, like the ears and then the, the, little, the little mouth, a little smile. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, I'm going to draw her in goof style for you. You should. I, I would appreciate that. I'll goof her. Uh, I, would, I would hang it up A giant print honestly. of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to cover this whole wall. Big giant <laughs> painting. <laughs> Goof ginger. Yeah, no, um, Veronica and I are going around America right now recording. This is the, the road trip we were this promising, is guys. the all-American road trip, guys. Uh, for, for a secret project. And, um, and where better to stop than India? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what better guest to have as our first person than Sammy? Yes. Sammy, for anyone who doesn't know, what, do you, what are you most known for? Um, I'm most known for, like, I I have several viral videos where I'm, like, um, ranting about the Sonic the Hedgehog series and um, s other things too um, here and there, like uh, whether it be Nintendo or Call of Duty, just usually stuff that's gaming related. And um, most of those videos are like 10 years old now, but um, hey, I mean, it's followed me this long. So, uh, you know, that's probably just how it is. But yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of that probably has to do with like reaction content. I remember Chad oh, Chronic yes. started blowing up from uh, doing reactions to your videos. Yeah, that's, that's definitely um, one of the major ones. Uh, him and I have collabed uh, multiple times now, and um, there's also the PewDiePie. Oh, um, oh yeah, reaction. Yeah. Uh, that one also got a lot of like uh, attention too. So, yeah. Um, you collabed with PewDiePie, didn't you? Yes. On his yeah. Game, um, game review. Uh, not PewDiePie. Oh. Uh, I I would have liked to, but um, I I tried to get on in contact with him. It was just a little bit difficult that, too. That's yeah. fair. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been on the Sonic show. Um, let's see, what are some other collaborations I did? Um, I collabed with someone named uh, Dylan. Um, and uh, I've also uh talked to like certain other creators too, like within the Sonic community and um outside of uh and also a lot of like youtubers just in general reference me so it's yeah it's just i was gonna say yeah you kind of you were blowing up when you were very young but then was there a period where you just like gone and i was like where does sammy go because there are certain yeah. videos online where it's like what happened there were a lot of uh times like that uh where people just weren't sure what i was doing just because um either i needed a break or i just um didn't didn't really know because um it was especially difficult i would say like in my mid-teens i kind of just wanted to uh move on from that and pretend it never happens just because i didn't really see it as a good thing or anything so yeah. um yeah and then uh but as time went on um i kind of just grew to accept it because i realized hey you know what maybe it's not so bad um and people sort of started to like see me as m more so as somebody who could like evolve from that and um yeah so uh yeah o over time I um warmed up to the idea of like embracing my past videos and making new stuff and uh it's still not something I do too often anymore but um what every once in a while you know I have to say that it's something I very much admire about <clears throat> you um, because you do see, I, I do see a lot of people online, whereas they had gotten popular or maybe their videos had gone viral from something, infamous. From, yeah, something infamous. And rather than embracing it and then just evolving, they try to like fight it as much as possible. That's how I, it was for me at first. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it's like, um, there's this really nice saying where it's like, um, you know, the things that are out of your control, you know, 
you, you can't you can't control things, so accept it. Embrace and then, it. Yeah, accept it, yeah. and then just like use the wisdom to determine whether or not you know it's worth. Yeah, <laughs> it, exactly. I mean, there's still some times where it can be kind, somewhat of you know, a detriment. Uh, like especially in my like um, my job because um, I'm currently in the teaching field as a substitute teacher, and uh, sometimes it can kind of you know um rear its way into that um and but that it's um not always bad when um that is the case and uh otherwise yeah i mean i mean it's never really an issue otherwise like running into people in public i i don't really mind cuz people usually are just like hey can we get a picture with you or autograph um etc and uh yeah, they um most people are pretty respectful about it, so it's it's really not that that big of a deal, I, I feel like. Yeah, I remember oh. I was going to say I remember seeing like <laughs> videos and stuff of like like oh my god, Sammy Classic Sonic fan is in my college classroom and it's you like doing a presentation <laughs> yes. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't even um notice somebody was filming during that. I <laughs> I was just kind of doing my own thing and then um, a few days later I saw somebody post that. I was like, "Oh, wow, okay." <laughs> but Does that make you like sad in a way like kind of like the lack of privacy or are you maybe not sad but maybe just a little bit paranoid because like oh okay so that can just happen anytime, anytime. and yeah. i wouldn't be able to do anything about it but yeah. i mean and on the other side of that is that people coming up to you and like saying hi or wanting an autograph or a photo was that something you think your younger self when you made those videos would have wanted um, it, it even happened a bit back then. Uh, I did not like it when that happened at all back then, <laughs> just because fair. I was still like cringy back then. And a lot of people, you know, thought I was just kind of like a nerd and stuff <laughs> like that. So, um, I, I saw it as them like trying to tease me and stuff like that. Cause I kind of gotten used to that it, even before, um, Sammy classic Sonic fan was a thing people would kind of like uh, tease me a bit, take advantage of, like, my, um, social awkwardness, mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, at, um, but, yeah, so back then, it was more difficult, but, um, you know, that, that was, that was just back then. I feel like that's just, like, kids in general, you know, like, all the yeah. teasing, but, like, whenever you get older, kind of, like, leave high school and stuff, I feel like that kind of attitude of making fun of, like, like something someone would deem cringy or like whatever yeah. just kind of goes away no one really cares after yeah. a while right they end, yeah. up, they end up thinking it's cool now and i remember yeah. Yeah, whenever i was in school i was very much like i can't tell anyone that i like sonic Cause in my primary school for like those seven years i was like i love sonic you know i made that known but in high school the whole time i was like no can't tell anyone don't want to tell anyone <laughs> meanwhile in his room is just sonic all over the walls yeah. that was that was me definitely <laughs> yeah like um for a time i was like embarrassed to be a sonic fan like i kind of disowned it for a while like oh i actually don't even like sonic at all but i mean nobody's gonna buy that honestly <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yeah uh and and um I, I lost my train of thought. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you do you th guys think that like? Do you guys think that like when you were younger, embracing it during that time, regardless of how others like saw you, things would be different where you are now? No, no, I don't think so. Um, I think when you make that whole thing like a part of your like personality that you like shove into people's faces like in public, like in mm -hmm. school or whatever, you are asking for it by making it about yourself. But if he, if it's something that like so obviously like being in school for seven years, people would just find out. Especially by the end, people find out about my YouTube channel. But it's just kind of thing where I'm not shoving it in your face. Uh, you're finding that out, so you can't really like mock me for that because yeah. I'm not like I'm not giving you anything there. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, true. And looking back, it's kind of funny just thinking. You know, there was a time where I was like embarrassed to be a Sonic fan because I mean, at I, I, I mean. At the end of the day, you know, I I see Sonic as, you know, I mean, obviously it holds a lot of sentimental value to me, but at the same time, it's like it's just a game, you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like is it really something that you know, em embarrassing to talk about? It, it's yeah, it's so, not your whole like it's not your whole personality or your whole life, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. No, just something yeah. that you like. Yeah, some people still like will will think either. Well, either way, like, some people think that I lost interest in Sonic after 
all that happened, which was true for a little while. Um, but you know, that, that was just temporary. And then, um, other people think like, you know, that I, that's all I care about. It's like, no, I, I have plenty <laughs> of other things that I'm into and, uh, other hobbies. Like it doesn't define me. Yeah. Like drawing, so, Dragon yeah. Z. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, uh, you know, uh, she doesn't want to hold her hand. <laughs> Why like that? Why do you wake her up? <laughs> no, shake her hand. Gin Ginger keeps on distracting me. She's. You can't shake the goof's hand. Dude. You get the ass. Is she smiling? She likes it. <laughs> yeah, she's a smiling dog. A little smile. <clears throat> I do love. I do love this dog. Yeah. She's the sweetest little girl ever. Yeah, and yeah, for some people who don't know, she, Ginger's been my canine companion for ten years, and uh, she's been in a lot of my videos too. So. Oh. I remember you had another dog too. Um, Mitzi, oh right? yes, Macy. Yeah, Macy. she she's also part beagle. Um, well, she's a full beagle. Um, Macy. Yeah, she was uh there when I first adopted Ginger. Macy was only like nine months older than Ginger, actually. Um, she's possibly still alive for all I know. She's mm -hmm. just uh living somewhere else. Um, I didn't really have any control over that. Macy just kind of had some uh behavior issues. Um, like aggression around people and. Uh, yeah, that, that was kind of not good. But I loved Macy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. What would you do if you got a postcard in the mail and it was a picture of her with sunglasses and a coconut <laughs> mm -hmm. like, on the beach? With, like, that would umbrella. be great. That would give me some closure. Because <laughs> I feel like I didn't get a proper goodbye. So, no. yeah. That's how I feel, too, about my dog, Missy. I was telling you. Yeah. We're I, yeah. similar. Yeah, it's, it can be sad. <laughs> I got to ask Sammy. This is a question that has, like, plagued a generation for, like, for years. Were the videos fake? Uh, no i mean not really like that wasn't at all how i was in real life though it's kind of hard to explain like i i feel like i was kind of in a way putting on a front as a way of getting attention because there were certain youtubers that i watched that sort of did that style of um you know getting angry for the sake of you know um getting other people riled up and <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to use that, um, tactic myself because, um, some, some of my friends who, uh, I showed my early videos to were saying like, you should try getting a bit more passionate in your videos, um, because that would make it more entertaining. And I was like, okay, but I didn't really see that as like trolling or anything like that because, yeah. Yeah. um, you know, it, I was still, like, sharing my actual opinions, but just, you know, exaggerating. Amplifying it. Yeah, yeah, amplifying it uh, to, you, you know, for the sake of getting people to watch it. <laughs> it definitely yeah. works. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's really funny because before we came, as we were driving over here, Mark was like, I want to ask Sammy that question. <laughs> and I was like, I bet <clears throat> you it was, like, half true and half real, where he's exaggerating it and putting something on as like it's performative yeah yeah like way. i dis i i disliked the trolls but i knew they would react to the way they did if that makes sense yeah you know so so you trolled the trolls really <laughs> in a way in a way <laughs> five yeah you were yeah. playing you were playing strategy and, and myself <laughs> i trolled myself too i guess so oh, don't we all? it's 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 a really awkward situation to did explain you, but <laughs> did your um like family like your parents i know you, you had your sister involved in some videos but did your like mom and dad ever find out about this like online presence you oh had? yes they def they found out about that pretty soon after they went viral um and they tried their best to deter me from it but i was just uh persistent <laughs> <laughs> what were the reasons for like trying to deter you from it um well just the fact that i was doing it in secrecy like because i was online school at the time and they of course had jobs so um i had the house to myself and that was just kind of my way of you know making up for the fact that you know i was just kind of by myself no nowhere to go not much to do so why not you know uh try to attract attention from <laughs> uh random like communities on the internet so um it's very interesting because i was always curious like how did they not hear him in the other room <laughs> yeah that that's why because they 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 weren't there because you know they were busy making money for yeah. us I, but I, 
I had uh, my, my YouTube channel is a secret for years. I didn't even like tell them. They just find out like after a couple of years after it started doing well. But uh, yeah, I remember it would be like a nightmare because I didn't have that where I would have to wait for them to like leave for the store or like go go like do something for an hour or so. <laughs> go to the that was me. Or, yeah. yeah, I always had to make sure there was nobody else in the house. Maybe Morgan would be fine. That's my sister. Mm. Um, but um, uh, otherwise, yeah, I definitely. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I started watching you about a year ago. When did, when did you start making videos? Well, I started making videos in 2014. Oh, wow. So shortly after me. Oh, really? That was shortly after you? Yeah. Um, but you were, you were probably younger than me then. Yeah. Uh, because I was 14. You must have I was been. probably like th uh, 11. No, I would have been, I would have been 12. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was uploading like Minecraft videos or like, hmm. um. He like recorded his DS and he's like playing like, what was <laughs> Smash it? Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Smash Brothers. I tried to <laughs> troll like Minecraft fans for some reason back then. I don't know why. Cause I had like a lot of friends who were into that. <laughs> How'd you do it? Um, well, I, I mean, just basically the same way I, uh, you know, ranted about Call of Duty. Just like, all oh, you freaking Minecrafters, <laughs> you need to freaking realize that Nintendo is better than just all, all this junk. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just getting them riled up. That's like the perfect, the perfect thing to say to them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, that's just how I was back then. <laughs> It's kind of genius in a way, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it was having the effect that I wanted it to, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what effect did you want? Do you want everyone to kind of realize it was a joke, but like laugh along anyway? Or? And and yeah, uh, somewhat. I also thought you know it would it would it would be entertaining to see like people react and get and get pissed at me and stuff <laughs> like that. So yeah, <laughs> that's fair. I, I, w I was just one bored kid back then, I think. <laughs> what was, was, like, the first video you uploaded? Um, the first one was, um, oh, I was going to say a new Super Mario Bros. review, but it was actually, um, my top ten Sonic games ranked, but, um, I, I kind of don't count that because it was all just, like, a text, a uh, slideshow of yeah. text and whatnot, mm. but my first, like, actual video with my face in it was the one I just mentioned, the new Super Mario Bros., what was number one on the Sonic list? Um, the number one at the time was Sonic Three and Knuckles. I would still say that's my number one. That's what do you, fair. Do you that's agree? Well, I don't agree, but that's reasonable. Oh, what do you think? What's yours? Sonic Heroes. My favorite Sonic Heroes. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite three D Sonic games. I I would say, um, I would rank it just a little bit below like uh, Adventure Generations 2. and Adventure Two. Yes. Okay. Okay. 3D Sonic games. Bruce, go on. Put put two little charts right here. 3D Sonic games on the side. 2D Sonic games on the side. Top three. So, uh, top three 3D Sonic games, I would have to say um, one, let's just say Adventure 2, because why not? And then Generations as two. Um, and then I would say, um, or you know what? I kind of want to put, I was, no, Sonic Adventure wouldn't be top three. I, 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 I don't know. Um, I would say just as number three, Sonic Heroes. <laughs> I, I think Sonic Heroes is a little bit better than Sonic Adventure 1. I, I think Sonic Heroes is yeah. better than Sonic Adventure 1, but I dislike Sonic Heroes. Okay, what are the three worst Sonic games in your eyes? Yeah. Worst Sonic games? Um, well, first, uh, top three 2D Sonic yeah. games. Yeah. Uh, Mania as second, I was going to say first, but three Knuckles first, Mania second, and then Sonic 2 third. Um, as for the worst ones, um, I would have to say the worst would just have to be Sonic 06, because that one fair. is bad. I would, I would say a second Sonic Boom, but never played it, so I can't You never played it? it? You had a Wii U and you never played I, Sonic Boom? I just didn't, I didn't even bother. I played the demo, and that was all I needed. Yeah. But I feel like in order to properly rank it, I would have to actually play the game, which... I'm not about to do. Yeah, so. that's fair. <laughs> Maybe if I find it in the di in the bargain bin for like two 50, bucks. 50 cents someday. <laughs> <laughs> not even $2. Um, or, yeah, who knows. Um, but Did you it, ever watch the series? Um, oh, the series is the series is actually pretty good. I yeah. haven't watched the entire series, but, um, you know, I've watched certain episodes, and it's it's funny, and hmm. animation is all right, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's an all right show. It's... Kind of a shame only lasted two seasons, but... Um, it's got 100 episodes, though. Yeah, 100 episodes. That that's, yeah. I think, more than Sonic X had, I think. Yeah, I think it's the longest Sonic had, like, Sonic what, show. Yeah. 70? 
like 70. <clears throat> yeah. But those were like 20 minute long episodes. Yeah. I'm biased towards Sonic XO just because I I grew up with that. I know me it's too. I know it's cringe, but <laughs> I love Sonic X. Are you yeah, me? yeah. I I I liked you know the characterization and everything. I thought the animation was good. Like, I don't know. I I like that Chris Thorndike looks like Sora in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> okay, Chris Thorndike sucks, but yeah. <laughs> Why does everyone hate him? <laughs> he's a crybaby. He like cries all the time. Yeah, he's like rich. Has a rich family <laughs> who loves him. He has a weird uncle has plastic surgery face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like he's not he's not relatable at all. I don't know why he exists. <laughs> that is fair. That's completely fair. I literally only like him because he looks like Sora. <laughs> so that's my. Yeah, bias. he does look a lot like Sora. Do you um? Obviously, your videos were so infamous because of like the, the like the rage and the screaming and, and stuff like that. Do you feel like you still have that in you somewhere deep down, or is it just, just somewhat? Out? Yeah, some sometimes I'll like try out doing like new rants. Uh, like um, like a few a few months back, I did like a couple of things like that on my uh, Instagram or TikTok or I I think both actually. Um, and I was I don't know I I. I, I, I do like to play around with that uh that style <laughs> um sometimes but uh I feel like at the end of the day it's just kinda not me anymore. So That's, That's fair. Great. Yeah. You don't have this burning little Sammy inside you. <laughs> Pretty just... much. Yeah. <laughs> I I mean really I, I mainly just do that like as fan service sometimes for my <laughs> fans. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Do you have a uh, do you have contacts? I remember in your old videos you wear like glasses. Um, yeah, so those were just fake glasses actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. You broke I just, the immersion, dude. <laughs> I just kinda like the way uh uh like glasses look on me, so I yeah. You so. got a good face for glasses. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's that's the only reason why I wore I wore those in my videos. No 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 actual reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, was there like any inspiration? Like maybe from like I don't know, possibly nostalgia critic or maybe angry Joe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I did watch them them back then. I I wouldn't say I I don't know. I can't say how much of an influence they had on my actual videos, but um, you know that definitely factored into it. Um, just overall, uh, you know, the idea of like making videos where I you know sort of put on a character or just a different version of myself and just like a persona know. or ulterior like yeah pretty yeah. much that that um i guess you could say was influenced by them or just those kinds of youtubers in general here's my burning question saying <clears throat> another one Ooh. earlier on you you were telling us about pac-man and the ghostly adventures my bad it was <laughs> but i seem to remember a lot of pac-man and the ghostly adventures figures in your videos yes uh so Honestly, my views on that show were kind of like mixed because around that same time I ranted about it, but then I kind of went back on it um, because when I first saw the show, I kind of thought at first like, okay, this isn't that bad, but I think as the show went on, it definitely deteriorated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> I remember the first time I, I saw that premiering on Disney XD and I couldn't, <coughs> I couldn't get used to his voice. Pac no, Man's no, voice. it doesn't fit him at all. He's supposed to be Pac Man and it's like a girl. It's like a girl doing Pac yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, I think Bob. it's like it's not like the same voice actor as um Okay KO, oh, I think. Really? I, think I, th so. I would have said Jimmy Neutron, but Tom. Um, Bruce, give us a fact. Yeah, okay. put, put, put it like mm -mm, if, if Yeah. Right, put or... put the uh what's it called? Mm -hmm. But um Yeah, no. Uh uh so yeah, my views on it kind of went back and forth um i in, in retrospect it's i can definitely see why that show got canceled <laughs> yeah. how long how long did it last for i think it got like two <clears throat> seasons but not nearly yeah, as seasons. many episodes as like sonic i think it has like 20 something oh know, that's like not 30. they technically yeah. consider it three seasons but it's really just season two split in half, that's right so I know a lot of shows do that nowadays yeah. where they split like the seasons into or the, the one season into multiple Especially if they, like, don't know if the show will get renewed or something. Yeah, so. but it's, like, I guess it's considered, like, good marketing to be, like, season two of this show. It was good enough to get a second season, <laughs> but also not actually put the money in for a second season. That's, like, right. what they, they did that recently, didn't they? <laughs> they was did that Sonic with Cuphead. Prime? And, yeah, Cuphead and, Sonic, and Prime. Sonic Prime. Sonic Prime season one ends just in the most random spot because they took the 24 episodes <laughs> and split it into it. 
Yeah, <laughs> true. I when it comes to ghostly adventures, I think it did some things good. Like I, I, I enjoyed how Pac Man had multiple different power ups and um I liked Betrayus. He's he's kind of a fun villain. I, I like recently um by recently I mean like two years ago, rewatched the entire series and just the fact that I was able to do that, it it's not it's not really a bad show, but it's just like if you're not into Pac Man, you know, I Yeah. <laughs> I like fair. all the references. I like the little pixel art they would have in it. Yeah, yeah. You, you there are little Easter eggs here and there, like um you'll see like little Galaxians, um dig I, I think there's even like a dig dug cameo. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, I think so. Um but yeah. Uh, I was never, ever into Pac-Man or any of the 3D Pac-Man games or, like, series, nothing. Ever. I never played them, but I was always into it. I was always into, always into, like, the mascots, like Mega Man and stuff, even though I rarely played the games. I just liked all of them. Really? I, I think I liked it because of Smash Brothers. Like, oh. Smash 4. <laughs> yeah, pa- Pac-Man was, um, yeah, yeah, um, the, Sma- the Smash Bros, um, uh, went in Smash Bros. 4 when they put Pac-Man. I remember, like, when they, sh- when they showed that in the trailer, I, like, was... You lost really, it. really excited. Yeah, I lost oh, it. Sweet. There um, you go. <laughs> I think I might have even made a reaction to that back, <laughs> way back when. But um, yeah. Uh, and when it came when it came to um, the Pac Man World games, the Pac Man World Two was like one of the first games I ever had on the GameCube, which was that's the one also on the PS2, right? Um, yeah, it's also on the PS2 and the original Xbox. Um, yeah, and uh, that was the first game I ever beat too. So real, that was yeah. like the first game you ever ever beat. Yes. Yep. And yeah, so it definitely holds a lot of sentimental value. <laughs> that, yeah, I was gonna say that kind of like the first game I ever ever beat was Donkey Kong Country. <clears throat> oh wow. Mhm. Yeah. And then it was Lion King for the SNES. What about you, Mark? First game you ever beat. It might have been Sonic Heroes or Sonic Two. Really? Yeah. My dad one day I came home from work and he gave me uh, Xbox 360. Um, it's like a Mega Drive collection, and he's like, don't tell your mom I got you this, but here you go. I think he grew up on those games, and I was like, holy shit, I just had like a normal day at school, and I got a, a reward, you know? So I was like blown away. <laughs> I, I never got games as a kid, like only on like special occasions. Yeah. So um, I played Sonic 2, and I do save skates, obviously, but uh, beating that was like, holy shit, I finished a game. I know, yeah. What? Uh, I agree. Like when it came to the classic Sonic games, beating those was very rewarding because, I mean, even though... It, for a game of its time, it was considered easy. Um, the classic Sonic games still have, you know, a difficulty curve, yeah. especially like if you try to one hundred percent it. So when I finally managed to do that, when I was like, you know, twelve or so, um, that definitely took a lot of like dedication because nowadays I have to rely on like save states <laughs> and the special <laughs> stages and everything. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, back then that was a, that felt like a huge accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a sorry, go on. I was gonna, no, go on. I was gonna say I had Sonic Mega Collection on the PS2, um, and I don't think it even had Steve Steve's, but Sonic no, 3 and yeah. Knuckles, I remember being like really ch- challenging for me because I just didn't know how all the mechanics worked. Like in in Mushroom Hill Zone, when you'd get to the uh, the little vines that you get stuck on, you have yeah. to spin dash. I would be like, I guess that's just like locks you in and you can't do anything about it. So right. I just, I yeah, I know. I don't the when I got stuck on it. I think I remember getting stuck on that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that and Carnival Night for the longest time, the I barrel. had no idea what to, yes, I had no idea what to do there. Yeah. So. Any Sonic game, any 2D platforming Sonic game, never, <clears throat> never beat. Never be always got stuck and then was like I I'm confused I don't know where to go fuck this. You go wrong. You go right. No, I understand. Right. I I recommend as the fir- as your first 2D Sonic game to try and beat. I would recommend Sonic 2 just because it has the easiest level design. Like it doesn't try to trick you. Trick you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I that's feel what like, I felt. I felt tricked. Yeah, because I feel like Sonic 3 and to even to an extent Sonic 1 and Sonic CD would do that. So, but. I, I for some reason I still consider Sonic Three my favorite. Okay. I can't believe we're finally talking about Sonic in the podcast. We never talk about. <laughs> That's we, true. That was weird. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen you talk about Sonic in any of your podcast episodes. It, it's I'm weird. Not sure. We um, we, we <laughs> our past like four podcasts. I realize we always talk about horror stuff, like horror movies <laughs> yeah, we or have. horror games. Horror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sort of into horror movies myself. Did uh, you see Winnie the Pooh? I I didn't I didn't go to see that because I heard. Uh, not, not so good, good things yeah, about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you want to know what it is? It was because Smile came out, 
and then Scream came out. Smile was good. I, so I like Smile, yeah. yeah. Winnie the Pooh came out, and then you we started were, going were for Bendy. Um, her horror, like, artwork that she was doing, House Yeah, Yeah, so. Five Nights at Freddy's is coming out soon. I know. Oh, yes, I can't it, wait for that. It, <laughs> me, too. Yes. Oh, my God. You like Five Nights at Freddy's? I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm really into, like, you know, the theories and whatnot. Um, I, I haven't played many of the actual games themselves. I just like the lore. Me, you know? too. Yeah. Veronica told me, I, I was surprised by this, Veronica told me that she, like, before we'd even met, she'd watched all, like, the Matt Pat Five Nights at Freddy's series, and I was like, that's weird, I would not have taken you for, for that kind of person. <laughs> Dude, my brother, I remember when the first game came out, I was so obsessed with that game, and I would, like, I would, like, hook my, like, computer up to my TV, it, like, dawned on me that my MacBook had, like, an HDMI plug-in, and I could, like, use it yeah. on my TV, so I was like, oh, I could play this in my living room! <laughs> so I'd play it in my living room, and I'd have, like, my friends over, and we'd all get spooked, and then my brother was like, hey, uh, you know this guy, like, he was like more about the games than just the game. Like, what do you mean? He's like, there's a story. I was like, there's a story? And he's like, yeah. And they showed <laughs> me, that yeah, he showed me game theory. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I loved his videos on it a lot. I, I remember back when I was like, um, ha like, uh, t sophomore year of high school, I would like, um, take out multiple pieces of paper during class and like, jot down my personal <laughs> theories on the series <laughs> <You're here laughs> <crafting. laughs> yeah a lot of people wouldn't guess i was into that too but um maybe someday i'll make a video on it mm -hmm. that'll be interesting <laughs> it's funny you mentioned like putting your hdmi into your tv because it took me until i was like 17 <laughs> to realize i could do that and you know what um i had sega all-star racing on the app store and uh, <coughs> bruce put up a picture of like the xbox version of sonic all-star racing and then the app version and I saw in, like, the, the promos for it on the App Store, it was like, if you plug the HDMI from your phone to the TV, you can play the app version on your TV. And I was like, I have to plug the app on my TV. And I spent, like, weeks trying to figure out one day, like, HDMI people, not realizing that I had the better version of the game on the Xbox. And I could already play it on the TV. And then the app is, like, a shitty little, like, mobile version of it. But I was, like, blown away that I could put it on the TV. That's funny. I forgot they had a mobile version of that game. I, I just remember there's a mobile version of Sonic 1, and it looked like, it looked like Sonic Rush for the DS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I remember that Sonic Four came out on the on the App Store first, and it used the Sonic Rush model for him. But like, in oh, that makes sense. And then they they replaced it with a new one after everyone complained about it looking bad. It it did. It really. Did. Sammy, I have a proposition for you. A proposition. Yes, yes. Here, please put your put your is. fingers like this. We have a proposition for you, Sammy. You should come and visit us when the Five Nights at Freddy's movie comes out. I like that And idea. watch it with us. I would love to do that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a perfect time to go to Universal 2. Yes! The Mario yeah. World, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it'll, it'll be a bit cooler by then, so that that would be great. Yes. Be you yeah. should come and stay with us for a night. Yeah, yeah. Nights, place. Like I'd a love week to. As long as you like. I, I, yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, let's you can check out Mark's really cool Sonic the Fighters arcade cabinet. Oh, oh, okay. That sounds awesome. I have one of the originals. Um, I was going to be moving in with someone... Uh, uh, and, and so I bought it on eBay. So I was looking everywhere. I was calling up all the Chuck E. Cheeses around like America, like seeing if anyone had it. Uh, some of them did, but they wouldn't sell me they it. Wouldn't, yeah. Which is weird to me that they would still have an arcade game from 1996. But um, and then I, I randomly just checked eBay one day, and there it was for like six hundred dollars. And I'm wow. like, that is not that is worth way more than six hundred dollars. So I gotta buy it. <laughs> and then I spent like two grand shipping it across America to L. Twenty six hundred dollars. Yeah, I need to. Yeah. <laughs> I need to check that out. They, yeah, that that would that would be great. Let's 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 yes. make that a plan. We'll, we'll do part yes. two. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a part two. Then yeah, we, we could talk about the FNAF movie. Yeah, guys, uh, if you have any questions? I completely forgot to uh, yeah, like recommend uh, people to give questions for Sammy, but uh, well, maybe next time. Yeah, <laughs> next time for sure. Yeah, yeah, next time. You know what? Save your questions for next. Time. <laughs> you know what, guys? <clears throat> in the comments, let us know what you would like to know for the next time. And guys. You should subscribe to the podcast and five stars on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. But also leave a review and say bye bye bye. Smiles. Thumbs up. Little dog. And subscribe to my channel too. Yes. I'm yes. Trying to get trying to get my silver play Guys, button. Sammy is so close to getting a silver play button. You're what? Okay. Seventy two thousand? Seventy seven thousand? Yeah, seventy three, I think. Oh. Yeah. Guys, I I you can do it. <laughs> Sub to Sammy right now. I rarely <laughs> upload, but um I mean I have um, so, oh, somewhat okay content, I guess. <laughs> no, it's great content, so you should subscribe now. Yeah, yeah, I need to have a little bit more confidence, but yeah. <laughs> have you ever thought about releasing content, like, 
about your old videos or do you think that's too like like relying on your old success that's to... that's kind of what i yeah i i do it does kind of feel that way at times but i feel like it could kind of be the launching point for yeah. you know the future as well because i mean i do have ideas of what i want to do in the future but uh, um really? you know for now uh yeah i think you know it's good to like since it's the tenth year anniversary of my videos, just really? to sort of wow. go back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you should do something. You should oh like... yeah, yeah. Like um, uh, the other day I um, uploaded me reacting to one of my old videos. Stop criticizing the Wii U. That was my first um viral video. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um. So I I did that, and um, I want to do that with a lot of my other old videos too. Mm -hmm. So um. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment, but um, you know, that's not that's not all I have planned. Um, yeah. Can like, you say anything else? Or do you um, not want to give away too or, much? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, uh for people who are familiar with like my Sammy's Adventure videos, Sammy Classic Sonic Fans Adventure videos, um I do plan on making more videos like that. So that's one thing cuz I thought you made a third one. Yeah, I yeah, I made the third one uh last year um with uh some friends of mine and uh you know, that was my first, like, time doing a video that was, like, an hour long mm -hmm. as, like, a movie-style thing, mm -hmm. and, uh, How you know. fun. Yeah, it, it was fun. It was it was a lot of fun. I, I, I love doing those types of videos. They were all my, always my favorite kinds of videos to make. Now, so. I, I know you <clears throat> want to get into the education department, um, <coughs> as yes. far as, like, career, career-wise. Would you ever consider, like, teaching about video production? That, I, I could definitely see myself teaching something like that. I mean, for the time being, I, I'm i more so going in like more of a, like a general scientific That's uh, right. class direction, like um, physics or chemistry or something along those lines. But um, yeah, I think it would be cool to teach about that just because, you know, that's definitely a part of my life now. And I feel like I've learned things i'm still learning things about it of course but um you know i've definitely uh learned a lot about uh that over the years yeah. so yeah you know sammy's been gracious enough to let us uh stay in his house for oh, okay. oh you, you, you can go do whatever you, you want can, you can do whatever you want don't worry sammy <laughs> limbo underneath that yeah i i um yeah uh, i i just you know i've learned hospitality is is important an important thing to provide because i've i've done other man f f what, what am i saying <laughs> man meetups that that would, uh, that that has man that has some that has some implications there <laughs> um no fan meetups over the years uh and um yeah and uh i i i would just stay over with them and uh so it's just something i've learned and also you know having like family members who would give me a place to stay um, when I, like, for example, my grandparents um, helped me, like, commute to college. Aww. And, um, yeah, so, you know. We're I, very gracious. Yeah, you, it's, it's like my way of paying it forward, I guess. Thank you. Do you find people reaching out often trying to, like, meet up with you? Or, so obviously, the, this, um, we, we sorted this out from Veronica messaging you on Instagram, and it just so happened that you knew who uh, yeah. I was. Um, but did you find often people messaging you, like, hey, can we meet up and do this thing, or... Like, yeah, it? yeah, like, um, you know, uh, usually it's, like, people who are, uh, like, either in India, like, they'll say, oh, hey, I found out you live around here, do you want to meet up sometime, and if, if it's, you know, not too much of an inconvenience, like, if I was already doing something on that particular, particular day, I'm like, oh, sure, um, and, uh, but, you know, other times it's just, like, uh, hey, uh, can you, um, you know, make a short video of you saying hi to a particular friend of mine and you know i'll go ahead and do that and uh you should open up a cameo page i've, I've thought about that yeah that it, it's you know i think that would be a good thing to do like because some celebrities charge ridiculous amounts on there so yep. if i just charge like ten dollars per video or something like that or yeah i i feel like that would that would be good because people would see like oh it's still a famous person but he doesn't cost like you a know million a million dollars yeah, yeah. To say hi to my dog <clears throat> yeah <laughs> exactly oh it's, it's weird calling fun. myself a famous person but i mean that's just kind of how it is so yeah true no you're like one of the 
like original like internet like legends. I would I would say. I would, uh, yeah, I would yeah, agree. I guess I guess now you know it's it's, it's weird to think it's been that long to where I'm considered one of the originals. But I mean, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put seal of approval. Boom. Originals. OG. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But um, I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Is there good. anything else you'd want to say, Sammy? Um. Other than subscribe to your channel. Which you should do right. <laughs> what is your channel's name? For anyone who doesn't know. Um, it's Sammy Classic Sonic Fan. It's um, I used to have um the in the title as like the Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, but um, I I didn't see the point of including that in there. Um. And uh, before that, it was also called, like, the Imperishable Sammy Zenith. Um, I remember that. There was a bunch of, like, memes. There was, like, Snoopy, Snoopy Flying Ants or something like oh, that. Oh, I've like, had Snooki many. Mario. One of my friends ha uh, made a joke, like, uh, like I'm I'm pretty much, like, the devil because I have multiple names. <laughs> I'm like, Lucifer, <laughs> Gilgamesh. I'm like, I never thought of that analogy. <laughs> but, yeah, I've had a lot of different names over the years. But, um, yeah. But Sammy Classic Sonic fan is the that's, iconic that's one. That's the iconic Pretty one. Pretty much, yep. Yeah, that's a lot. What a lot of people um, think of me as. So yeah. So go subscribe to that right now, <laughs> and subscribe to LS Mark and their yeah. and their podcasts and Veronica and Jelly and yeah. Yeah. And Ginger, just kidding. Yeah. She, she, she doesn't have any. to Ginger right now. <laughs> she doesn't have anything. But, right yeah. Look, here's a footage. Here's some footage of Ginger right here. Look. I should just turn my TikTok page into the Ginger page. It's not like I'm using it for anything else. Call it Ginger and Friends. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> she's such a sweetheart. <clears throat> but uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate you sticking around. Yes, and, uh, yeah. Thank you for yes. letting us stay and film and taking four hours to set up everything. Yeah, guys, <laughs> it's okay. We, we yeah. spent like an hour trying to figure out what was wrong with the SD card. It would not pick up in the camera. We called the camera place we rented it from twice. And, formatted the SD cards like five times. We got rid of all the footage we recorded at one point, and then Veronica called up the guy, and as, as Veronica was calling them, I closed the little SD card slot. It finally worked, and I was like, oh, I had to close it the whole time. Because he left it open and left the SD card, and he kept taking it out. I don't know why it's not reading. And then he closed it, and it was like, oh. It just immediately went green. He's like, oh. He looked at me. I was like, hang up the phone. Like, hang up the phone. Just hang up. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I figured it out. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah, but I'm glad to have a appeared on your podcast so it's definitely <laughs> worth it so oh yeah and stick Everybody around we got more sammy collabs coming up real true soon. guys get ready because this all-american road trip is just starting yeah is. next up we got uh next up is someone else maybe sunny maybe sunny maybe sunny maybe sunny i don't know he kind of smells true <laughs> true Kind of stinky though. But, Sonny, uh, if you're listening to this, you kind of stinky. Yeah, though. put a comment in the replies. Yeah, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, don't don't cut this part out. <laughs> yeah, don't cut this out, Bruce. Leave this in. <laughs> yeah, but um. Well, bye. Bye. Yep. Bye, everyone.